Okay, so we've seen quite a number of games na ngayon sa PBA. So we can uh, uh, make siguro a fair assessment, no? So pag-usapan naman natin ngayon mga players na may potok. Este, players na patok. <laughs> patok na ngayon sa PBA. Okay, so I mean from all uh, performances, yung sinasamong unexpected. Uh, sino ba na nakikita mo na, na biglang ba? Okay pala to, na hindi mo na expect. Yung ako, yung I was really impressed with Hans Tiele okay. sa Barako because well when he when he was with Barako oh. before he was traded no. Because um he was really impressive eh, considering na hindi siya pinipili kaagad dun sa draft. And yet he was actually undrafted. Uh, uh, yes. Undrafted. Oh, oh, and then um, normally kasi yung mga magagaling na players yung pinagkakaguluhan ng mga teams unahan niyan eh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero yun na nga, ito, itong player ni si Tiel, hindi nga masyadong pinapansin tapos biglang he was a revelation for uh, Barako Bull when he was there. I have a question though, bakit hindi siya pinansin ng mga coaches during the uh, the the camp? Eh sa nung nasa UE siya, magaling talaga siya eh. Well, actually, I'm not sure. 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 I'm Oh, tsaka yung impressive doon, yung uh, hindi mo masasabi na na gumaling lang siya kasi sa barako, nabigyan siya ng playing time, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, he really got noticed. And hindi lang isang game, hindi, hindi lang, lang, lang dalawang game. game. It was consistent. Oo, oh, oh, tapos nung nalipat siya ngayon ng team, maganda pa rin ang performance mm-hmm. niya sa Meralco. So, is he for real sa, sa tingin niyo? Well, yeah. He is for real. I think, yes. And kasi normally kung chamba lang, mga isa dalawang laro lang yan eh. Pero kung inuulit na, you know, over and over again, Saka, it's been very effective. Saka iba na yung teammates mo, oh, iba na yung system, magaling ka pa rin. He's, he's, there's something special in the kid, and kalaga mayroon maipapakita. If, if, if uh, Meralco uh, somehow uh, medyo maging mata- maganda performance dito sa conference na to, and the next conference, or three conference format, for the, throughout the whole year, you know, Probably could be a candidate for a Rookie of the Year, na undrafted rookie. Mm, no? yeah. But it's too, it's still too early it's to, too early. to oh, discuss. Sino, who, who else are the other players na na medyo ikaw na mm. na attract? I mean, na impress ka. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bakit? Tama <laughs> laka. Uh, one of the sinabi ko nga dito um, late yung recognition is kay Joe Devans. Not only did he play awesome or ba, outstanding nung finals nila last conference but you know he's been really a uh, workhorse pagdating sa Alaska Aces. He's Pero been, uh, is it really a surprise? I mean considering that you know Joe Devance na siya eh. so, so if he plays well napaka ma expected lang yan from him talaga. Mm, pwede din kasi he's the first draft pick diba? But um, I don't know. At, <laughs> yung, ano ha, yung na-surprise ka, hindi na-attract ha. Ano ba? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ikaw, ikaw, ikaw. ka rin na-attract. <laughs> Kaya no! <laughs> Sagwa na mga ano to. <laughs> Sagwa na itsura mo. Pag... <laughs> Chris Ross, actually, is okay. a, impressive. He's uh, playing for Meralco. And, uh, well, previous year, when he was with Coke, he wasn't really as impressive as he is playing now. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know when we also course, when he was in Santa Lucia. Yes, and at the same time when when itong si uh, Coach Ryan was here, he uh, you know he told us na meron siyang nakikita at pwedeng exploit na talent ni Chris Ross na mapapakinabangan sa sistema niya sa Meralco. And saka maganda the next step up siya nung hindi nagalari si Cardona. Tama. Sa ibang team naman like sa Hinebra. Uh <laughs> sino bang ano pero magandang uh, kasi ang ganda na tinatakbo ng Hinebra ngayon, di ba? Syempre. Uh, mga impressive rin yung yung performance sila. Jimbo Aquino. Yon, tama. And we've seen this guy in NCAA. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nag-champion sila with San Sebastian dahil sa kanya, basically. Mm-hmm. And magaling talaga siya. So it's no surprise na he's shining na yun sa Ginebra. Pero at saka, uh, ang hirap, ang hirap, no, na mag-shine siya doon sa lineup na yun, na punong-puno ng gwardiya. Yeah, yeah, no. Pero kaya nga yun ang uh, nakahagulat rin at nagagawa niya to. Tapos you're, you're actually sharing uh, you know, time with the veterans. Uh-huh. Rookie ka pa lang, you have a Helter Brand, Kagiwa, na who's back also. Mm-hmm. So talagang you're actually, kumbaga may healthy competition din sila eh, within the team. So you'd be impressed na kahit every time na ginagamit siya, he's effective. 
How about uh, Mark Isip? Mm, Isipin ko <laughs> No, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen I've seen Mark Isip before and uh, you know, he he played for several other teams but you know, one thing good about this guy is para siyang Hans Thiele. In, you know, you you won't really expect him to deliver but the good thing about the guy is he's a hard worker. He has a perimeter shot. Tapos matapang pa, nakikipaglabanan siya kahit malili- maliit hindi siya ganun kalaki compared to the other you know, uh, centers or power forwards in the league. Eh, matanong kita, paano si Wesley Gonzalez? Oh, si, paano si Wesley? Oh, di, I mean, si Wesley... <laughs> Attractive ba? Ah. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko type, pero I mean, as a player, type ko siya. Pa? Okay. Uh, when, okay naman, maganda yung uh, nagiging performance as of late ni, uh, ni Wesley rin. Uh, He's been defending well. Uh, I think na bibigyan narin siya ng playing time ni Coach Yang, and you know it's been contributing naman uh, to uh, there. But mata pala natin ng si Westy. Hindi kasi uh, parang feeling ko siya rin yung mga isa sa mga guys to watch out for. Yeah, yeah, tama. Saka yan. yung napapansin ko sa sa kanya kasi every time may games sa pag pinapasok sa yung pinakamalaking contribution niya is yung energy. Mm-hmm. Kasi feeling ko siguro mahirap maki mahirap magkaroon ng ganong level ng energy pala ano pag ka pag coach mo si mm. si coach Yang Jo, 'di ba? Mm-hmm. Parang palagi ka nasisiguan. Parang minsan siguro hindi mo na alam kung paano ka act doon sa sa team na 'yon, pero si Wesley always post through. How about Peter Jun Simon? Scored 42 points uh, That's one crazy. Year. You know, Grabe. Yeah. Wild. Eh. Actually, you're talking about energy. This guy actually provides the energy para sa big man. You know, he, he exactly, he can shoot. He Defend. also runs the fast break very well. He is uh, actually malit lang siya, but he's very athletic, malakas in tumalon, and may puso. You know, mm-hmm. pag naglalaro siya sa loob, nakikipaglaban talaga. And is he coming off the court, uh, off the bench? Uh, sometimes, depende. You know, what, what right now is starting sa, in the last few games. So, so, Super nice surprise. Oh, uh, surprise. And nakakatuwa dito, parang you can see yung growth. Mm-hmm. Uh, yung uh, talagang uh, lumalaki yung tung mga players ato. Well, much like uh, the flower ni ni Miyaka, <laughs> dati malit lang yan eh, oh. ngayon ibaw siya, lumalaki na yung flower. <laughs> Pero pagkita parang anting anting eh, kaniyan kaniyan kaniyan. Oh, wala na makamoy. <laughs> Sumama yun yung flower? Huh? Hindi pa yun. 